Okay, so today we did a bee removal from an old farmhouse. Bees are coming in and out right on the second story. House had cedar siding. So what we did is we took off this piece of cedar siding and we didn't see anything. We didn't see any honeycomb, we didn't see any bees. And we took off this piece of cedar siding, still didn't see anything. Took off this piece of cedar siding and we just saw a little bit of comb. The problem was First story, second story. The bees were hanging out in the floor. And if you've seen floor joists before, so this is the front of the house. The bees had honeycomb underneath the floor in the floor joists. The other issue was they were six feet. So we had six feet of comb sitting in between the two floor joists running away from us. So this should hopefully make the video that you're gonna see a little bit clearer. Okay. Okay. So what you see me using in the video to suck up the bees is a bee vac. So this is a special made vacuum cleaner typical pocket head with the filter cut off. It's got this special cage and a little trap door. So what happens is this hose is gonna go inside the bucket and when it goes inside the bucket, it opens up that trap door. All the bees are gonna come into here when we're done. Take this out would normally be in here. We take this out and we have all the bees. And the bees can still breathe and they're not suffocating inside that bucket. Then we transport them back to the farm and we put them into a hive. And you'll see the top comes off, get them to a hive, and we knock them in. That's what you see me using in the video. Now I would love to say that these bees are gonna do great now that they're at the farm, but every hive is a little bit different. This hive, we found a lot of queen cells. They typically make queen cells when they're going to swarm. 
And since May was so wet, monsoon May, we had a lot of hives swarming this May. So if a hive swarms twice in a short period of time, it could be to the detriment of the original hive. So there wasn't a lot of bees in this hive, maybe a thousand or so. Typical small package, maybe 5,000. A strong hive has 60,000 bees. So right then there, we're kind of, we're behind the eight ball. So we're gonna do our best. There were about two frames of brood that we could make, we got plenty of honey. So we'll try. We couldn't find the queen either just because it was such a narrow space. There, it wasn't a good, it wasn't good area to work. So we'll try our best. Hopefully in a week or so, we'll know better whether this hive is gonna survive or not. Well everybody, this is Jurgen, the Badass Homesteader. Peace.